start when you want. This topic is storyteller. <coughs> Storytelling is an activity that uh, has to be used a thousand years ago, and it's used uh, actually now, and has definitely to capture the attention of people. That's why we use it. But the secret is that uh, we can create emotions through stories. That's why it is so successful. When you say story, you can connect with people through the characters, the story, the places, the uh, way the people is telling it. And that's how uh, we can, this is an important part of our lives in all senses. Uh, also, we can, uh, well, this is part of us. We have all uh, story kind of, we are part of a story and we are like connected with others when we listen a similar story too. <coughs> but we just, uh, we just, I mean, we, we don't use this just for fantastic tales or something like that. We can use it for the job, for example, when we share with other people. Uh, I don't know, we have a business and people is like the motivated uh, working. You can bring some clients and make them say their stories, say how they are happy with the products or with the medicine or what they produce and the workers feel like more confident in their, in their job and more happy too. We have to find clear objectives to have the right story at the right time. And uh, if we find this way, we can choose the right words and the right way to say the things. For example, you're going to say the same story for kindergarten, kindergarten kids and uh, professionals. You have to choose different ways to say it. And you have to be authentic too. It's not just to say the truth. You have to find new ways to, to say something so people can remember it. Something important is that if you ask someone a question, the people will uh, will give you the answer you want to hear. I mean, you like your mobile phone, yes or no? But if you say to people, hey, tell me the story, I mean, tell me about your mobile, maybe the people will say, okay, it's really good because I use it to, uh, I don't know, check my mail, to use Facebook, to make a phone call, and you can get like more, um, I don't know, more characteristics or more information that if you just ask for a question, a simple question. And also you have to find new ways to do things. It's not like to learn new concepts or to learn new words or to learn new, phr uh, new phrases. You have to find a way to say whatever you want to say in different ways so people can remember what you are saying and you can connect with them too. Okay, informations. This is a way to, it's a modern way to, to, to approach stories. For example, okay. I know stop the comments. <laughs> ah, uh, there are some recommendations when, when you, uh, to have a detail. Uh, story for when you are going to uh, promote uh, a product, uh, you have to, there is um, suggested to have three climaxes. And first you have to induce skepticism and then you have to air out doubts and worries about your product and then you have to knock, knock down all the objections. This is suggested to have a very good uh, story when you make an infomercial. Do you know what is this? Yes. Uh, what do we do with them? It's fun to share experiences through these cookie, fortune cookies, and it's not really because they are, they really taste good, but because of the the chain of uh, stories you, you can have with them. And for example, Procter and Gamble uh, took this idea and put. They print interesting facts with some kind of beautiful ink to approach customers, and this made them increase their market share by 14% in the first year. So this is a suggested way to bond with customers, entertain, <coughs> and teach them interesting things. Seven reasons to tell stories. Well, first, you build credibility. And why credibility? Because you are the expert. When you, you, when you are saying something, when you have a story, you are the expert. So nobody can tell you you are wrong. If this is your story, you are the master. So <laughs> you build credibility, it's true. And the second one, it unleashes from powerful emotion and help teams bonds. When between the crowd, you can see when they are like very excited or when when the group 
is united by this experience that they are having together. And they say that you can even approach um, executives that seem very analytical um, with essential human questions. <coughs> so this is a good way, really good way to approach them. Another one, st stories give permission to explore uncomfortable topics. For example, these are some kind of topics that people don't want to talk about because they are kind of taboos. And they help shape a group's perspective if you have a really compelling story. Also, it creates heroes, somebody to aim, somebody to innovate for, for example, moms. Um, it gives you a vocabulary of change, introduce new concepts, encourage innovation. Uh, and good stories help make order out of chaos. For example, we know that in our daily life we have many things to do and we receive a lot of information. So uh, we're exposed to this mass of information and sometimes we jump from one subject to another subject and it's really hard to be organized. But once when you induce this concept within a story, it's going to be like easier to get all of this information. So you will have people who will always remember a story if it's a good story. And the final one, when, when you have a company, it's good to have tours for your clients. And this is a good opportunity to tell your stories. Um, because you're going to tell them how, what do you do, and how do you do things. And this is a good um, opportunity to show up your accomplishments and everything about what you are proud of. So questions. Our advice and conclusion is start telling stories. This is a very good way to teach and to entertain customers and even people in your own corporation. Do we have time or not? How much time do you think you yeah, need? Yeah, I know.